I get a lot of advantages living in China and training badminton in China, but there's one thing that is a constant disadvantage and constant annoyance, and it's because I have a foreigner's body, not a Chinese body, and I need to buy new shoes. I need new badminton shoes. So let's start the struggle and the search for new shoes. really spoiled with my coach because I just say hey coach I need new shoes and then he just has a pair waiting for me so I'm super spoiled then I don't know what they're gonna look like. Wish is the local brand made here in Shaman and everybody kind of has a ton of Wish stuff. Uh, they have bags, towels, rackets, shoes. I actually love my old shoes. I'm kind of sad I have to give them up. They're club shoes. Everybody in our club we have the same shoes. So you can see who's in my club very easily in the court because they're so bright and yes, very ugly. But you can see I've really worn mine out. I wore off the whole front and the bottoms are like smooth as a baby's bottom. Funny thing about my shoes, because we all have it, we have to write our names on our shoes. So you can see mine says Xiaobingda, Xiaobings. But the first week we got them, we all just put them in my coach's office. Um, most of us leave our shoes here to change into when we arrive. Uh, I came back the next day with a Sharpie and I took my shoes and I wrote on the back of them. And like five minutes later, this guy, Lotze, he came up to me and he said, uh, Xiaoping, you took my shoes. And I said, I didn't take your shoes. These are my shoes. See, they have my name on them. And he goes, look at the bottom. And I looked at the bottom and you can still see he had written his name on the bottom. See, that says LS. So I stole his shoes, <laughs> but we had the same size, so it was okay. So I tried another pair. Tried these. They uh, didn't fit me. They were also too small. But the weird thing is I have these in size 39 at home. They're my home shoes that I bring when I go to another court. So I don't know why these won't fit me because the other ones do and it's the same size and it's the same shoe. So now I have to go look for a size larger and that's probably gonna be too big. This is a constant problem for me with like everything, clothes and shoes and all that. Even like international brands because China's such a big market, they'll make like Chinese size clothes and it's so hard for me to find stuff that'll fit. I'll show you our example on one of my shirts. This is a Yonex shirt that I got in America. And if you look at the sizes, it's international, because I guess America is not a big enough market. Japan, that's extra large. Asia, that's China, extra, extra large. America, large, and Europe, extra large. So you can see like the huge size discrepancy. So while I am a solid medium or large in America, in China, I'm an extra, extra large or an extra large, and it's very humiliating for my self-confidence to go to a store and need an extra extra large shirt if they even have it Third time's the charm, eh? Give me a shot. My coach just realized that my feet are a little bit bigger than his and he just acted like I took away his manhood or something. He was very disappointed. 